Hi, I'm Jessica Amir for the Finance News Network, joined by Shavom, CEO and co-founder, Axel Schumacher, and Henry Innes, the Chief Information Officer of the firm. Gentlemen, welcome. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. much. First up, just give us an introduction to Shavom. Shavom is a precision medicine company. We are a startup. We are based globally around the planet and we form a huge healthcare ecosystem. At the beginning, we are focusing our efforts on genomics and precision medicine, meaning we build the largest uh, genomics and healthcare data hub on the planet. To do this, we work with hospitals and partners from the pharmaceutical industry and uh, patient support groups all around the planet to build a huge community of people that want to revolutionize healthcare. And gentlemen, who's been supporting Shavom to this point? Jessica, this is a great time right now in terms of healthcare and innovation. And we are specifically looking to work in markets where, um, for example, governments are very progressive when it comes to the future of healthcare and technology and specifically genomics. So one of the markets that we're very much focused on right now is Australia. We have a great amount of support here. We're working with Digital X, which is helping us identify great um, partners and investors. Uh, we also recently announced a strategic alliance with GTG Labs, which is a NASDAQ listed lab. And we're gonna be working very closely with them through our genomics data hub to help predict and identify um, possible um, patients who might be suffering from breast cancer. So in addition to Australia, we're also working very closely with the Andhra Pradesh government right now. We have a great opportunity to help a lot of the local citizens uh, with giving them access to healthcare. And so we're gonna work with the government to potentially sequence uh, millions of, 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 of local citizens in India and through genomic sequencing hopefully provide them access to new healthcare resources. So now to the ICO itself, how much are you looking to raise and what stage are you at? We're focused right now on raising about 75,000 ether which is equivalent to in today's market roughly about 65 million dollars. So a big part of our effort right now is focused on the private sale which is about roughly 65,000 ether. So once we've completed the private sale um, we will then be moving on towards conducting our ICO which we anticipate will be in uh, about mid-April. Now to the coin itself, how will it be there are a lot of um, opportunities where people can use the tokens on our platform. One is you can get your genome sequenced. There we have several opportunities. You can have what we call as exome sequencing. This is just sequencing part of your genome or the, you can get the whole genome sequence. This is where we uh, as an innovative company want to go in the future. There are a lot of apps you can access over our platform and all these services that are usually coming from third uh, service providers or from us that can be directly accessed over the platform with those tokens. And where will the proceeds be going? Proceeds of our ICO will go in primarily business development all around the planet because we want to be everywhere. We will build a huge massive ecosystem for healthcare. That means we have to invest heavily in marketing. We have to build our own labs. We are aiming at, at having at least one laboratory for genomic sequencing on each continent. In addition, we will build a huge network of genetic, genetic counselors that help people really understand and interpret their genomes to help them manage their health and wellness. A more general question now, there are thousands of ICOs on the market, all with varying levels of risk, but what makes Shavom really so unique? With ICOs and really any early stage startup enterprise, there are so many risks associated with the project, so many different reasons why a project may fail. So, you know, it's important for any investor to look at um, key aspects of the, the project, the team, what is the, the use case? Um, why is blockchain necessary for this particular project? And really looking on, around the overall viability. <clears throat> and this is where we think that Shavom really shines. We have an amazing team that's, that's focused on executing this, this project in terms of um, ushering in the era of the future of healthcare and precision medicine. And we're also working with amazing partners, best of breed technologies and various protocols to make sure that our platform is completely secure and that um, data privacy is the utmost importance. And what's the size of the market opportunity? The market size is actually huge because we are really working all over the planet to build a large healthcare ecosystem. So this is a trillion dollar market. Part of this is the genomics and precision medicine market, which alone is over $112 billion worth. In addition, it's important to note that uh, genomic sequencing will become absolutely widespread. We can expect that in the future, not far in, uh, ahead, like in two, three years, 
Every hospital will offer genetic services. At some point, every human being on the planet will be sequenced, at least in the developed countries. This will be a normal thing to do. And we at Shivom, we are now at the point where we're really at the forefront of the technology, bringing together genomics, blockchain technology, artificial intelligence, and modern cryptographic uh, methods to put everything together to build the most uh, sophisticated platform on the planet. Last question now, what can participants expect over 2018 and longer term? At first we have to finalize our core platform. After that we will start uh, our first sequencing projects. We have one pilot project in India where we uh, work together with local hospitals to find individuals that are um, good to incorporate in our projects for rare diseases or to sequence ethnic subgroups that need uh, to be incorporated in modern day precision medicine databases. Fantastic. Axel Schumacher, Henry Ines, thanks so much for your time and good luck with the raising. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you for having us.